Welcome to the COVID-19 update for today, January 19, 2022. Today we speak with the Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, about the ministry's large testing capacity, as well as its extensive control over the surge in COVID-19 cases. Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, thank you for joining us uh, yet again for today's COVID-19 update. Now, Dr. Anthony, there is something that, that uh, needs to be addressed. There is a public notion that the health ministry is somehow no longer in control of what is happening with the COVID-19 um, uh, cases that we have right now. Some clarity on that. Well, first of all, I think what we are seeing is a surge of cases and we had expected this surge because around the globe we have seen with Omicron because of its infectiousness that more people are going to get infected. So we have been prepared to deal with this surge. Um, one of the aspects that we have to focus a lot on would be the area of testing and we have additional capacities uh, to deal with testing. The amount of tests that we have done for the month of January so far exceeds the tests that were done in 2020, for the whole of 2020. So just to get that in perspective, for the whole year of 2020, what was done we have exceeded that um, in this month alone. Now, a lot of people are coming because they're fearful probably that they got COVID. Some people are coming for other reasons. Some people want to travel and because there's a travel requirement to get tested before you travel. So they're utilizing the public system. All of this is putting on due pressure on the system. Right now, at the National Public Health Reference Lab in a 24-hour period, we are doing about 2,000 PCR tests per day. At the height of the Delta wave that we had, we were doing probably about 500. So you can see the volume would have definitely increased. I suspect for the next couple of weeks, we'll still continue to have a high volume um, of tests and we're capable of handling it, but we want the tests to be for those who really need them. While some people have focused on, let's say the Yumanayana, where they have gone to get tested, because it's probably very central, in Georgetown, there are a number of other testing sites. We have in Georgetown and its environs about 15 or so, 12 um, health facilities that are run by the Ministry of Health. And in eight of those, uh, we are offering testing. So there's no need to, to travel to the Yumana Yan and, and crowd that facility up. When you have testing, you can go to, say, uh, Campbellville Health Center and get yourself tested there. Dr. Anthony, there has been a lot of conversations surrounding the use of drugs or tablets to uh, treat the virus. How, how has Guyana been doing in terms of being able to procure these, these drugs? We have also, around maybe um, December, started to use barcitinib and that's before the WHO would have recommended it. We recognized that it had good potential and uh, we imported barcitinib into the country and start using it. Um, we, the FDA granted emergency use authorization and we start using it uh, for our patients. So far we have had good results. More recently, we would have seen that Pfizer would have produced Paxlovid and um, Merck 
would have would have produced another drug called molinupravir, and um, we have been working to get those medication into Guyana. This can be used for patients with mild to moderate COVID and with the potential of them um, developing more severe forms of COVID. So there's a course of treatment that can be given and um, hopefully within another week or so, we should be able to have the Merck drug available locally. In terms of um, active cases, we would have had over the last 24 hours, 743 new cases. And um, currently we have about 12,148 active patients, meaning they have COVID. By this afternoon, I think we'll probably be able to discharge about a thousand or so patients because most of them had very mild symptoms and um, their time period would have been due. So uh, maybe about a thousand people would be discharged by the end of this afternoon and they can return uh, to their jobs. Uh, so this number would change drastically. This has been the COVID-19 update for Wednesday, January 19, 2022. For more information, visit the Ministry of Health's website at health.gov.gy or any of our social media platforms. I am Shaquan Gill saying goodbye for now.